just going to be a crappy little video to show Matt from Sloppy Mechanics the differences between uh, the fuel pressure regulators um, between ported and non-ported. Um, so this is a stock regulator. All I did was paint it, but uh, it was having some overrun issues with the Walbro 525. It's getting somewhere around 65 pounds of pressure with this. So I decided it needed to be ported, but I didn't trust how thin those walls were. So just by eyeballing through eBay, I found one of these $10 China regulators. It's like their most sold regulator that you can get. And the wall thickness is a little bit thicker, not by much, but I kind of just wanted something as a piece of scrap so I could... Uh, do my best to port it out and not have a, you know, ruining my stock regulator. You know, if I need to, I can drive around in the stock regulator while I work on this. So I bought it. Uh, came probably about three or four days. It wasn't too bad. Um, so the porting that you do is you actually do it inside of this brass piece here. If I can get this in the camera, but you can see down at the very end of that brass piece is um, the steel, and that steel is the diaphragm. Let's see if I can get a little welding wire here to show. That's the diaphragm down here underneath. So inside there, turn on the flashlight if I can, inside here is the diaphragm. So you drill through the center here and I bored mine out to, I think, believe it's just above an eighth of an inch, um, or three thirty seconds of an inch. But the wall thickness on this is, let's see, about four millimeter. Let me put it right over here. And then internal. Internal is about three point four two. Yeah, so I have about 60 or 0.6 millimeters of wall thickness left. Uh, fortunately, the pressure is on the outside of this, and it's comp creating compressive stresses on the uh, brass there instead of, um, you know, expanding forces if the pressure was inside that inner diameter. Now, the difference is on the OD this is 3.87 so it's a little bit thinner and yeah you could technically bore the stock one out and be okay but I don't know how much you'd be able to reduce your pressure by this comes from China with something like a sixteenth of an inch hole it's incredibly small so you pretty much have to bore it out no matter what uh, so I bored it out I believe I just stepped up to about a one-eighth bit and if you see at the very bottom there it's steel all the way through. It's like the same thickness all the way through. And the way you do that is you take your bit and you place your bit all the way down. And the bit has a point because it's a chisel tip bit. And let's see if I got a bit here. So here's a bit right here. And if you put this up against a flat surface, it'll be able to drill all the way down except for the flutes. You can see that little gap there at the top of the or at the bottom of the drill bit there. So you hit the bottom out on the regulator on the uh, on the steel, you know, the actual valve itself um, assembly and uh, you stop there because you don't want to drill through that or you'll have a fuel to vacuum leak which would be not very good. Um, uh, but then what you do is you take a diamond rotary bit and you punch through the very end using one of these. They have some that are like eighth inch. Comes in a set from Harbor Freight. They're like eighth inch and you can, uh, they have like a squared end. Of course, I'm not going to be able to find it now. But they have, oh, there, oh, that's not one. But you can take those bits and you can use it to essentially push through that final hole 
and then that will open it up completely and you'll stop once you hit the steel it'll feel different but you just take it I would spray some like uh, oil in there like WD-40 and I'd push it through and once I started seeing like I was getting steel filings uh, or steel out the um, return when I would blow it out with some brake cleaner and WD-40 you know it would be time to stop pretty much and you just gotta eyeball it it's gotta look you know like that all the way down steel if you want to get it bored completely out. Now the modification you do on the actual uh, rail itself is one you can take the screen out uh, but I believe you need the spacer so I just take the screen out whether if it makes a difference I don't know but on the inside here you don't want to touch where the o-ring is going to sit and you don't want to touch the outside of that brass because that creates your seal but if you follow that hole to the other side you know the one in the center there if you follow that to the other side of the reg you end up with that cavity down there now this cavity has been opened up but it's got kind of a square uh, thing right there it's like where it stops the pipe I guess for the uh, fuel rail so it doesn't go too far down but I just opened that up a little bit and left a little bit of a lip and there's another spot down there you can see it when you take one of those diamond bits and put it through um, you can open it up a good amount uh, whether or not that was the major difference uh, I don't think it was I think the major difference was obviously this so experimental wise if I had to do it all again I wouldn't touch this I would try doing this completely first and then getting it to uh, do its thing essentially to drop down the fuel pressure and if it works great and if not then I would go to port this but this being all the way up to you know what was it three point yeah three point eight seven yeah three point eight seven on the mic there um, I'd say that it's probably uh, enough to drop, drop down your fuel pressure uh, with this China uh, regulator um, I, I can drop my fuel pressure down with it running so that's with alternator voltage at about 14 volts it'll drop my fuel pressure down to 43 if I just completely back off the reg uh, whereas before so stock China regulator um, I only got it or I couldn't get it below 90 psi it sucked uh, then I boarded out the best I could with the drill bit but I never finished it off using the rotary bit and I only dropped down uh, to about 62, 63, which is where the stock regulator was at. I couldn't get this below 63, um, even with vacuum applied. So this should have been at 50 uh, pounds uh, per set or pounds per square inch because I had 50 kPa of vacuum on the diaphragm. Now this, on the other hand, uh, it was again I was having the same issues as this was until I took the diamond bit and finished it off. Once I finished it off. Uh, yeah, like I said, I can drop it down to 43. Um, stay tuned. I'm just going to show like a comparison between the two of them in the truck with it running, just to show you uh, with the, you know, with the little star bit here. Well, this one's a hex. This one's like a security bit uh, over here. Security bit there, and a hex bit here. Um, I'm going to back them off completely in the truck and show you what it does, fuel pressure wise. Before I forgot, I just wanted to show um, where the regulator, that center hole where it goes through. You can bore that open a little bit as well, uh, and that's where you'll see the diff. That's where you'll see your bit going through there to down down to there. If you choose to uh, bore that out at all.